Oh, St. James School. I have some shout outs that I am so excited to give today. And I cannot wait to celebrate your growth, resilience, and focus that you guys have had recently. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Mason for being student of the week at home and for staying organized. I'd like to give a shout out to Yasir for pushing himself, for listening to feedback, and for being a wonderful hard worker. Special shout out to Lakira for saying good morning to me every morning. A shout out to Anila for being organized and taking care of business. Shout out to Jeremiah for being resilient and pushing through hard times. Shout out to Talaya and Samaj for being positive and uplifting. Shout out to Dylan T for being determined and being such a good communicator. Shout out to Andrew Taylor for finding a way to balance Fortnite life and school. I'd like to give a shout out to Karim. So much incredible work turned in by Karim. Um, shout out to Kamira for her communication and her hard work. Shout out to Kayla, KD. She got her work done this week and I'm so proud of her. Gaines Henderson's boys, we are so proud of you. Thank you for getting on those Chromebooks and turning in your work. Sana, you are just steady, doing a beautiful job. Keep it up. Layla, loved seeing work come in from you this week. You're so bright, and I love hearing about the dear books that you're reading. Yamir, my meerkat, you are just consistent. I can tell that you have a plan and a schedule at home, and I'm so proud of you. Jonathan, our birthday boy, fantastic job on your work this week, and happy, happy birthday to you. I'd like to give a shout out to Journey for being organized and for communicating. A shout out to Carter for getting on the fourth grade Google Classroom. Same for Giselle. I'd like to give a shout out, shout out to Brian for talking to me on the phone about reaching some goals before starting fifth grade. Um, shout out to China for being hardworking and diligent. Shout out to Charlie for pushing and pushing herself through challenging moments. Um, I want to just give a shout out to all of my fourth, fifth, and sixth grade friends. I'm so proud of you all. I also want to give a special shout out to our St. James Six on campus who are holding down the school and holding down the neighborhood with the welcome table food. Let's all give some snaps for Father Kellner, Miss Nalubega, Miss Harris, Miss LaRue, Mr. Kasevich, and Miss Break. I love you all and I can't wait to do community meeting in real life soon. Thank you, St. James. Good morning, lower school. It's Miss Padilla here again. And I get to, again, show you a video of the day. So April is the month of anti-bullying. And if you know anything about me and my classroom, it's that I always talk about having self-love and being proud of yourself no matter what you look like and no matter what others think about you. And we always talk about the fact that we don't have any right to make comments about people's body, clothes, hair, face, teeth, anything. We don't have a right to do that unless it's a compliment. And so something that I came across was an Ellen video. Now it's from 2019, but I still think it's relevant. And it's about two boys who realized that they were going along with their classmates and making fun of another boy who clearly has some, um, some difficulties with speaking and social interactions. And they were making fun of him and they realized that that wasn't right. And so they did something to make a change and their change reached celebrities and Ellen and Will Smith. Now it's a long video and you'll see it in the link below, but I really suggest that you watch it and you really think about how one small act that they did is going to impact this kid's life for the rest of his life. I miss you a ton lower school and I love you and I can't wait to see you all again. Bye. Lower school, it's Miss A. Carol with your current event of the week. This week I am connecting a link to This Week in Rap from Flocabulary. I know that you guys really enjoy when I share that with you during our regular community meetings, so I hope you enjoy this time. There's some really cool things going on around the world that we can get excited about, so I hope you enjoy watching that video. But before I go, I want to wish you a happy belated Earth Day. If I know anything about lower school St. James students, it's that they are scientists. Mr. Garal and Miss Brake have helped us form a love of the earth and the environment and how to take care of it. And we do a great job at St. James being careful about our recycling and thinking about problem solving when it comes to the environment. And quite honestly, we love North Bay. And... North Bay helps us think about how we can take care of our planet every day. So, uh, happy late Earth Day.
keep being amazing environmentalists, keep taking care of our home. Uh, I'm really excited for you to become future environmentalists, to continue taking care of this planet. Happy belated Earth Day. Enjoy the vocabulary video. Thanks, St. James. Good morning, good afternoon, good day, Lower School. Uh, this uh, plant of the week is the pitcher plant, the tropical pitcher vine. It is another carnivorous plant. The uh, carnivorous plants, if you remember, have to uh, trap bugs in order to get nitrogen. Um, unlike most plants, uh, they cannot get the nitrogen from the soil because there's not enough of it. So they have evolved and adapted ways to get that nitrogen and it's really cool. The way that this plant traps bugs is that um, this area of the plant is very slippery and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna link and we're gonna try and watch a video of uh, that, um, that explains that the pitcher plant can actually turn the slipperiness on and off depending on how many bugs are around. Um, so once the bug falls into the pitcher, there's a bunch of chemicals down here that's kind of like our stomach that digests um, and extracts all of the nitrogen. So let's try to watch this video. If it does not work, um, either way, there will be a link in the description of this video. There we go. So, see this in action. So as you can see here, the ants are falling in because this is very slippery. And usually ants are really good at walking on surfaces and whatnot. So, um, and it's it's a very cool, this video explains um, that the pitcher plant lets an ant come in, um, get some nectar, and then go back to its colony and tell um, all the ants like, hey, I found this really good food source. And in the meantime, it turns on its trap, which is very uh, clever. So the link to this full video will be in the description and uh, have a great day. Hello, St. James. For today's social skill, what I'd like you to know is that Mr. Lee and Nurse Aiton have been working really diligently together to create a really, really important guide that might be helpful for you. There's a few different guides available and Ms. LaRue has them at the table uh, on Clearfield Street. One of them is about coping with difficult emotions and stress during these challenging times. And the new manual that they made last week, it's amazing, is about coping like, with things like anxiety and depression that might be coming up during these different and challenging times. Here's what's super cool. There's tips in there that will help you, but there's tips in there that you could share with your family members too if you notice that maybe a parent or a neighbor is having a hard time. And you could really become a social skill king or queen, helping your community to be stronger during this. I look forward to you guys getting those self-care packets, and I can't wait to hear about how we all were resilient and dedicated and were in touch with ourselves as we work through this pandemic time. Thank you, St. James. Good afternoon, St. James. This is Mr. McDonough with some announcements for you. Number one, you've got Chromebooks. 84 of the 86 of you have come this week to pick up your Chromebooks. We're just waiting for two more of you to come by to pick up your Chromebook. The teacher and I expect all of you to do a couple things. Number one, take good care of them. Number two, to use them every day. And number three, use them to increase the amount of work that you're getting done, the quality of work you're getting done, and also to use them to communicate with your homeroom teacher at least once a day and your other teachers at least once a week, whether it's in Jupiter or texting or an email, okay? A real good tool to be successful in the 21st century. I want you to work on four things in the next week. Number one, I want you to read. Please pick up a book, come by the table and pick up some more books as we're wrapping up the book fair and read and expand your mind. Number two, we talked about sleep a lot this year. Sleep is really important right now. Some of us are sleeping a lot and that's okay. What's most important is that we sleep at least nine hours at nighttime, not during the day and staying up at night, but in fact, getting our nine hours of sleep at nighttime when it's dark. Why? So that when number three, we can go outside in the sun and get outside. It's really important for our brains and our bodies to be outside and see the sun. When you're outside, of course, make sure you're social distancing and staying at least six feet away from other people. And number four, real simple, just go and hug your family. Go tell them that you love them and you're enjoying spending so much time with them 
and that we're all in this together and we're all going to make it through together. Okay? Thank you, St. James. Bye.